Hello, wonderful women. This is Me Monday, and it is just for the ladies. So we want to make sure that we watch out for any men trying to come in and invade our space on Mondays. Wednesdays is open to everyone, but on Mondays, we only want the women. So I am Natasha L. Brown, your wellness informant, and I am coming to you to give you some wonderful tips on being a woman. So definitely want to encourage you, and that's why our topic tonight is Encourage Me. Hello, Margo. Thank you for joining me. So I just have some tips I want to share and just want to give a little background on um, myself. My website is whathappentoyourlastmeal.com whathappentoyourlastmeal.com or you can um, go to my Facebook page which is New Peace Wellness with Natasha and you can always get information there as well. So what I do is I am a wellness, a wellness and weight loss consultant, a coach. I assist women, men, and children into um, wellness as far as weight loss, um, reversing any illness in the body, um, directing to supplements. And usually what we do, our main focus is making sure that you are eating well. So if you're eating right and eating the foods that give your body life, then what happens is you'll begin to see results. So I started this journey because I received a um, cancer diagnosis, a cervical cancer diagnosis, and I refused to accept it. So I found out what I needed to do in order to reverse illness in my body. And there was so much information um, to research but there was a lack of information for me to gain without doing the research myself. And many times we, we trust what the doctors are telling us and medical doctors are wonderful in their field. But if you're wanting to do something holistic or something natural, then definitely there are many things you can do with just food in order to heal the body because that's what God created it for. So again, welcome to all our wonderful women. And we just want to give you some encouraging tips because as a mother, my children are older now, but many times um, when they were younger, if I think back on it, um, I would say I miss those days, but I don't miss them being younger. I love that they are independent and able to take care of themselves. But when they were younger, you would have to do everything for them that you would forget about yourself. So definitely my... Um, encouragement to all women whether your children are small or not is to love yourself encourage yourself definitely always do something for yourself anytime i speak to women and i ask um do you love yourself hello miss audrey um women always say yes but what is it that you're doing for yourself how are you caring for yourself on a regular basis so it's very important to make sure that you are keeping in mind that you need to care for yourself on a daily basis. We pour out, pour out, pour out, and we forget to receive. So don't get into the habit of only giving, learn how to receive. And that is something that is conscious. You really have to do that consciously. So to share some tips tonight, um, and make sure this is um, public, it's not in my group. My group here on Facebook is Selflessly Selfish. And you can definitely search that if you're not a part of our group, definitely you can go ahead and request to join. It's a closed group and we share um, encouragement and empowerment. And we also allow, if you're a businesswoman, you can share that information on Monday. So selflessly selfish, go ahead and go over there and join us. And if you will go ahead and share, hey, how are you? If you would go ahead and share, uh, ladies, with um, your friends and let them know that we are live. We'll be live every Monday for our ladies at 9 p.m. and then for anyone on Wednesday. So male and female on Wednesdays, we'll be talking about just wellness. But my main goal is always to do something to um, encourage the body to work properly. So I've been on a thing where don't act your age is the hashtag I've been using, especially when I see things we have in our mind that at a certain age, our body should be doing certain things. But if you keep in your mind that whatever you want your body to do, it can do as long as you're giving it the fuel that it, it needs. So some self-care tips 
for this evening. We are going to deal with, I'll give you um, a few of my favorites. There is a long list. So um, make sure you compile a file of documents of things you like to do, things you want to read later, things that encourage you. That's always something good. So if you do have small children and if you're waiting for them somewhere, um, you drop them off somewhere and you're sitting in the car waiting or sitting inside waiting you can have something to read and encourage yourself with or even a great video that you've been meaning to look at so you can take time we we say we don't have time but everyone has 24 hours in the day is how we use our time so if we manage ourselves self-management not time management then we can get everything done that we need to get in place okay so Audrey, um, you can watch the replay if you're having issues with your computer. All right, so we also want to, um, the first one was compile a file. You can also change up the way you make your decisions. Make sure you're keeping in mind, if it didn't work for you yesterday, why do it again today? Get in your mind that you're going to find a better way to do it and do so. Many times at the end of the night, um, as I'm winding down, I review my day and how the day went, and I see what worked for me and what didn't, um, where I went. If it wasn't productive, I won't be going back again unless I need to change something that I was doing. But whatever it is that you do on a daily basis, making decisions, wise decisions, always produce productivity. So make sure you are getting in your mind that you want to make wise decisions and be conscious about everything that you do what you're eating what you're speaking what you're hearing what you're seeing all of that plays a major role in how your day is going to go so go ahead and make sure that you are sharing the video so that you can let other women know that we are here this is for ladies <laughs> So share it with a woman that you know and let them know that we are live here each Monday at 9 p.m. But join me Wednesday. I'll have some wellness information for males and females. So another tip I want to give women as far as self-care, and I like to call it self-love, but it's more popular. The hashtag self-care is more popular. But if you're loving on yourselves, um, you can type in some things that you do for yourself on a daily basis or a weekly basis, little things that you um, can think of that you want to do in order to make yourself feel better. So um, purchasing clothes, purchasing makeup, jewelry, any of those things are some great ways to make sure that you're loving on yourself. But other self-care items, you want to make sure that you are creating deliberate habits. Again, being conscious in everything that you are doing. So if you're not conscious of what you're eating and you're not feeling well, then you can't review the meals that you've had previously to see if something you ate today made you sick. And if it did, then what you're going to need to do is change what you're eating or make sure you take that particular item and try it by itself to see if it was that particular item. And if it wasn't, then you need to find out what's going on with your body because no one can listen to your body and diagnose what's going on in your body but you. All right. And also you want to self-care to lower your stress. Find out what are some small annoyances that you have going on either in your home or outside your home that's creating the stress that you may be feeling. So you want to make sure that you stay focused on what is productive on a daily basis for you. And everyone would be different. And just like I said, the women's group is called Selflessly Selfish. So definitely you want to be selfish. And you can be selfish without using the word in a negative, um, a negative light. Many people think of the word selfish is me, 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 I, 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 but sometimes you do have to take care of yourself. You have to get away from everything, get away from everyone, and just take care of you. And it's being selfish in a positive, productive way so that you'll feel better and that you, you can refuel yourself, revive yourself, get back to feeling your best so that you'll have something to give other people. Also, you want to make sure that you are doing a declutter. If you can declutter on a regular basis in your home, your office, wherever, your car, that was always a big one for me. I had to stop 
utilizing my car as storage or feeling like I had to keep everything in the car because I may need something. So you take everything out of the car and only things that you've used in the past few weeks is what you need in your car. Also for the um, body, we want to make sure definitely we want to take care of our bodies. So give your body a 10 minute, um, five or 10 minute mindfulness break. So be mindful for about 10, five or 10 minutes and you'd be amazed at how you can refocus, recenter yourself and bring your stress level down. Also, you want to make sure that you are breathing, fully breathing. As adults, a lot of times we be we breathe shallow. We don't take um, deep breaths. We don't fill our, our lungs up and um, exhale fully. We're shallow breathing. So if you will go ahead and take a, a really good deep breath, even three good deep breaths that will make you feel much better, especially if it's a stressful situation or if you're trying to clear your head, it's a great way to, to move forward. Also, dancing is a great way to exercise, get the body moving, get your creative juices flowing. And you also want to make sure that you are stretching each morning, definitely. And before you go to bed is a great time to stretch. If you're not doing yoga or Pilates, make sure you're doing some type of stretching exercises to make sure you loosen up the entire body. Um, also, um, any other forms of exercise that work for you would be great. Also, you want to narrow down the food choices, like I mentioned before. Find out what works for you as far as your food, what you're eating, um, what you're not eating. You may need to add some things into your food lifestyle. As we mature each year, our body changes, so what we eat changes, how we eat changes. And if you read the labels on foods, many of our foods change on a regular basis, even if the label doesn't change. So pay attention to what you're eating. Also, you want to activate um, your self-soothing, soothing, self-soothing. So um, self-massage is a great way to relax, especially in your shoulders. Many of us hold our tension um, right here in our shoulder and neck area. So you want to be able to self-massage and um, learn how to do that so that you can relax. Also, making small changes, increasing your water intake, increasing your vegetable intake. You don't have to go vegetarian, but definitely the more live foods you eat, the better you will feel on a regular basis. If you're eating live foods first thing in the morning, that would definitely help you throughout the day more so than that cup of coffee you think is giving you the energy you need. You won't have that crash if you eat the live foods. Getting out in the sun. Today was a beautiful day um, in where I am. Many places it's cold, but if you can get any form of the sun, even if you have to stand at the window and get the sun, it's a great way to energize yourself as well. Having a good laugh is always a great way to uh, rejuvenate yourself and clear your mind. And my favorite is take a nap. Definitely you want to take a nap. Many times we don't think about taking naps. Um, you know, when we're small and children, we don't want to take naps. But then as we become older, you will find the value in taking a nap because when we are taking naps, it rejuvenates, it revitalizes. Everything that we do for the body is a great way to encourage our bodies to function the way that they were designed to do. So we are self-healing machines. And especially this time of the year, you need to have your immune system up. And if you keep your immune system healthy, then your body will stay healthy and you'll be able to fight off all of the um, illnesses, the cold, the flu, any of the illnesses that are going around. You won't have to worry about it because you know that you are getting plenty of rest. You are hydrated, you are less stressed than you normally would be, and you are living the life of your dreams. So make sure you're doing what you need to do in order to care for yourself. So also, when you are caring for the body, you want to make sure you're taking care of your spirit and your emotions. So being around positive people, like-minded people that are going to encourage you and share positive feedback with you. There's nothing wrong with being corrected or being criticized, but definitely you want positive people that are going to share and uplift you. And always keep in mind to do what you love. 
whether it's going out, um, window shopping, actual shopping, retail therapy is always good. Whatever you enjoy doing, going to the gym, um, going to the sauna, whatever you enjoy, make sure you're doing more of that because that is how you increase your body's um, wellness, wholeness. You get to a place where your body will be craving the good things in life. So make sure you're doing what it is that you love. So with just these few tips, make sure that you are practicing self-love, you are practicing uh, self-care, and you are staying away from all of the stress. Many of us are unnecessarily stressed from things that we do and places that we go. And sometimes we have the choice. Now, if it's your job, then you, you have the choice as well there too. But just start looking for a new job and be grateful for the one you have, but be open to change. If it's your home life, what in your home can you change in order to make the environment better? Because we spend a lot of time at home, at work. And if you're in school, you spend a lot of time in school. So make sure all of your time where you're gaining the most energy is giving you what you need emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. If it's not feeding you, then you need to reevaluate why you are continuing to go to those places. So those are the, the tips I wanted to give you. I wanted to encourage you for this Me Monday. And each Monday, um, you can join me, Natasha L. Brown, um, here on Facebook. If you are not following me or if you haven't liked my page, um, New Peace Wellness with Natasha, then do so so that you can be up to date and you can get notifications. And make sure you keep in mind um, that if you have any questions, you can always inbox me or you can share them here in the comment section and I'll go back through and I'll look at them. And also I want to share and I'll put the link in the comments. I want to share a free download that I have with you. And it is some wellness tips for women as far as getting what you need physically. So we share both um, spirit and body tonight as far as the encourage me and the top ways to love on yourself. But what I wanna do is I wanna encourage you on a daily basis to make sure you're doing something to show you that you love you. So again, you can join me at Natasha L. Brown on Facebook if you're, we're not Facebook friends, as well as you can join the women's group Selflessly Selfish, as well as my business page, New Peace Wellness with Natasha, or my website at whathappentoyourlastmeal.com. I'm Natasha, your wellness informant. Remember to possess wellness daily, and also remember that self-love is your superpower. Ladies, I will see you again next Monday. And also, if you'd like some wellness information, join me this Wednesday for our Wisdom Wellness Keys. And they, this will also be at 9 o'clock on Wednesday as well. So I enjoyed it, ladies. Have a great evening.